Alright, here we go. Vortex Pinnacle. Or as I like to call it, Heaven. And uh, I'm not going to complete these quests because I might level up. But yeah, I do like to think of this as like a little little, little slice of heaven, my little slice of heaven. Uh, in the sense that I've led a good moral life and now here I am, arrived at the gates. There's Peter. Let's see this. Oh, thank God, we got the right way to pull. Although it is easy mode for a uh, death knight. Maybe I'll still do a video. This first pull can be a real uh, pain in the ass, as I'm sure you've seen uh, in some of your own dungeons. Um, but any tank can make it really nice and neat, except the bear tank. They would have a hard time, depending on how they're laid out. Uh, the other thing about this first pull is... Jesus, don't die, bro. Uh, the other thing about this first pull is that uh, you can get cycloned. So just be aware of that. Uh, Cyclone is a little CC. It's a druid type ability. Um, so they'll cyclone you, and it's uh, they'll take you out of the fight for a second. These guys are dead easy. Uh, nothing to worry about there at all. This is great, actually. I've been running this uh, dungeon all morning, trying to get a, a good recording, and we've got a level 82 tank finally. The runs have been fine, it's just usually, more often than not, you get like a level 85, and uh, it's a real pain in the ass, you know what I mean? Because I'm trying to show that it can be done uh, even with a couple low levels. So here we have a level 82 shaman, and a level 82 tank, and we're going to run this shit just fine. We're, we're marching through this dungeon, like Sherman across the south. Look at that guy just got the cyclone, you can see there. I'm going to try to, uh, I don't actually need to help this tank very much at all. They seem to be right on top of things. We like that, don't we? Yeah, this guy looks pretty fucking cool, too. Give me a chance to do a little, uh, what's the word, a little freestyle riffing? What is it when you're rapping? What is it when you're just talking shit? Um, well, anyway, I have, I have a minute here, because this tank's doing such a good job, that I can, uh, just talk about some bullshit for a second. Uh, that thing that I just dispelled, I believe it's, a, it's a, like a haste debuff, so you just want to get a little bit more DPS. Damn, this tank, I am loving this tank. There it is. Yeah, there. So, reduces their attack speed. I wonder what all that damage is coming from. We'll check, take a look at that. Seems like there's a lot of damage at the end. Maybe when they die, they explode. Some uh, enemies do that Al-Qaeda style. They just blow up at the end. They say, well, I'm going to take you with me. So we don't appreciate that, do we? Not at all. Back, let's look. Damage taken. Believe that is damage taken. Yes. Kind of challenging to do while well, I'm trying to. I want to see last night. This one. Oh. Sure. Wait. Uh, fuck. Well, anyway, I don't know. Look for some damage. <laughs> Current fight and back to DPS. Alright. Off they go. The heroes. Probably pissed at me. Why is this tank not uh, doing anything? So there's a lurking Tempest. We don't appreciate them, do we? Uh, over there, that guy, like, that just fell apart. He just fell to pieces, basically. Uh, if you do not face him, he continues to do a small amount of DPS, just something annoying. These diamonds do a significant amount of DPS. Watch on me, hopefully they'll get me. Yeah, so you look on the left. 5,000, I've seen him do 6,000, so if you see people start to die there, that's why. Get out of the silly, stupid, or vice versa, whichever you prefer. 215 spirit! Ah, uh, we don't need that, do we? No, no we do not. Alright, marching forward. Look at this tank. I'm loving this tank. I bet he's going to even do the uh, the lightning pulse correctly. I'm really hoping. We'll see what happens. Pop him a fast heal. So, he is a little squishy at level 82, I'm not going to lie. They're, uh, especially if he's standing in that, the diamonds again, you can see it right there. Um, and that can be challenging. I think you also get slowed in there, so sometimes it's inevitable. I'm not going to blame the tank. 
uh, but just be aware that yeah, if you get a level 82, you may you just have to work a little bit harder, but it's still completely manageable. Uh, there's that lurking tempest. What a creep! What a creep! Next, we're gonna okay. Here are the uh, diamonds again. Everybody's gonna stand in it. Boom. Boom. Yeah. So you know, five thousand. I I, I want to say it did six thousand to me in one dungeon, but. We don't have any video evidence of that, do we? All right, off we go. Army of the Dead. Oh, this tank. Oh, loving this. Absolutely loving it. We also there was a blooper. You'll see a blooper video from the same dungeon a minute ago, uh, where we had an awful tank. So the idea is be inside the uh, vortex, or else you take a shit ton of extra damage. Uh, this circle of vortexes also. He's going to summon them at some point uh, during the fight. Don't get hit by them. Uh, this tank's doing such a good job, I might get hit by it intentionally. I think it stuns you. There. All right. no, absolutely nothing happened. Um, and then there's just a shit ton of damage from the uh, vortexes. I like to drop a bit of a... Um, what's it called? Whatever elemental or... What is this shit called? Uh, yeah, elemental resistance that you have. If you're like a paladin, pop up your uh, resistance aura, whatever, whatever that shit is. Uh, do that then, because uh, that that lightning does a lot of damage, and there's really nothing that can be done. Boom. All right, so there it is. I got cyclone, so it just makes your casting speed go down a little bit, which could be bad if you're trying to heal the tank. Uh, that would be, I would be so embarrassed if I let this tank die. That would be completely my fault. Or I'm not going to say that now, because then if the tank fucks up later, you guys are going to blame me. And so are they. Alright, uh, you're going to want to click the tornado. You can't see my cursor because of the uh, recording software that I use, which is free, and it's called Taxi, and I want to give them credit. Um, but yeah, <laughs> the first time... Uh, I did this dungeon, I just saw everybody jump off er, and start flying, so I just jumped off too. And if you jump off, it, it sends you right back to the start of the dungeon. You don't die, but uh, everybody will have a good laugh at your expense, and uh, you will be forced to uh, have a, the, the run of shame back through. These guys, the worst part of the dungeon right here, uh, turbulent squalls, we'll see them again later on as well two things you gotta look out for. One is uh, their... Ooh, Cloudburst here. Is it? Alright, one is uh, their s cloud storms, uh, or whatever the storm clouds, whatever they are. But then Cloudburst, watch this, boom. If it gets through, I think the uh, tank is actually doing a kick-ass job. I'm gonna do it just once. Oh, it didn't go through. But that Cloudburst, it reaches like halfway across the dungeon. You can, it's almost impossible to get out of range of it, um, and it does a shit ton of damage. Like, it drops me about half my health, uh, so just be aware of that. That's where the mystery damage is from now on. So do your best to uh, interrupt or stun or whatever. Prevent those cloud bursts from getting through. I think it's a five-second cast. So you have a second, and you just saw in that fight none of them got through. Uh, there will be another opportunity for some cloud bursts, and maybe we'll see one and you'll just see everybody's, it drops everybody's health. Alright, this uh, dragon, as always with all dragons, you want to get behind him. Um, and he is going to, what a baller tank. Oh, this tank, I am in love with this person. Even though it's a dude, I am going to, uh, I have some tender feelings. So he's going to do a big uh, wind chill blast, and you can see how much damage it did right there. Uh, and you don't have to get hit by that. Nobody should get hit by that except the tank. Uh, but as always, you know, people just look at the dragon. They just like looking at the face. They see it and they're like, oh, dragon. I remember when I was a kid, I used to read about dragons. And then uh, they just get kind of caught up in the moment. These things, you have to just damage them. Uh, and then this shit will stop spinning around. Otherwise, you keep getting bounced back. Or worse, you can get bounced off the uh, edge. And then everybody, again has a laugh at your expense and you have to do the walk of shame. This tank is pulling everything. I love this guy. Alright, uh, I recommend you pull the dragon because these uh, little ghost looking things here, they don't do really any damage at all. 
and uh, so you can pull that dragon. Of course, everybody's going to stand in the dragon's breath right now. And here it comes in two, one, boom. Yeah, so that's avoidable, but not if your group is filled with a bunch of silly geese. Ah, don't die. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Focus here. Can't have our tank biting the biting the dust, biting the bullet. Uh, but anyway, yes. Yeah, so a lot of that damage was preventable. Phew, nice healing. My God, <laughs> compliment from the tank. Wow. We'll have to tell about the video. This guy's a superstar. Superstar. All right. Uh, thank you. Just to be polite for now, so I don't. Uh, what's it called? Alright, so we're going to drop some totems, we're going to be looking out for these storms, and we're going to hope to interrupt Cloudburst. See, now finding which one is casting it right there, that's what you want to watch out for. Now watch, one of them is probably going to get through, and you'll see everybody take a bunch of damage. Uh, yeah, right about now. Boom. Did it not get through? Come on, get through. One, get through. There it is. Okay, so you saw how much damage everybody took just from that one cloud burst. And it's really, it's so hard to be out of range of that. Uh, I've done this dungeon a bunch of times, and I think maybe if I was standing, you know, over in the uh, stone core dungeon, I might be out of range of it, but otherwise you're going to get hit by it, so. Do your best to interrupt it. Um, and off we go. This next guy, yeah, okay, this next guy you want to be uh, upwind of him, and uh, it will give you a haste buff. So imagine you're trying to do damage, and uh, there is a river of damage flowing out of you. You want the river to be flowing out of you into the dragon, and that's how I remember it. You may not be able to see it with the, uh, uh, what's it called, my resolution on this video, but I'm standing uh, upwind, and you can see this buff. Here it is. The other thing that you want to look out for is he casts that Dragon's Breath. Uh, it's targeted on a random person. It has nothing to do with the tank's aggro. And uh, you just watch him to where he faces and then try to get out of the way. And sometimes, as you can see, it's very hard. And then you get fucked by the, uh, the current. And But luckily, we go fast enough that with that haste buff, we can quickly recover. He's got me. Alright, and see how slow the fucking cast is when I'm not uh, upwind of him? In fact, I feel like I am upwind of him, but I guess the boss begs to differ. And here's Dragon's Breath again. This is about, uh, we're having very bad luck as a matter of, as a matter of wrong place, wrong time. And uh, not much we can do about that. I'm going to need on that, but not equip it, because we're trying to maintain a low... Uh, gear level for the, um, for the players, for the player base, for my friends, for you guys. And then it's going to zoom you, oh, sometimes it zooms you in the first person after that, it's really annoying. Let's get rid of this skull. That's from one of my add-ons, I think Deadly Boss Mods does that. Alright, some people like to CC this middle guy, I will see, um, I will CC him. Oh, well, I guess not. I don't think that this tank's going to care. Oh, look at, look at what a responsible Death Knight does. Death and Decay with the uh, CC out of range of the Death and Decay. All right, so some stuff to dispel here. That thing that I just dispelled, it is uh, it increases the holy damage taken or something. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you just, I'm waiting for it to pop up again so I can show you guys. There it is. Yeah, so, like, there is a Paladin equivalent guy in here, and, uh, he's going to cast that debuff. He's trying to cheese the meters, basically, uh, the enemy is, and he's he's going to, uh, cast that debuff, and then he's going to give himself a little little bit more numbers, a little bit more damage. Oh, I should have been Johnny on the spot with this one, but I forgot. All right, as, uh, somebody with CC, you want to run ahead here. Get there first, because there is, um... There is uh, some CC that's sort of inconvenient, so you want to get up there and uh, be the first one there and help your group out and move things along. And I know that this tank 
will appreciate a little bit of extra effort on my part, and they're going to time it just so. All right, I am going to be Johnny on the screen.